Here we go, season two. More mysteries. More tragic deaths. Few answers. <laughs> Now I'm wondering who these titans are. They're probably characters we know, or they might be. And he looks so peaceful. Oh, that actually happened, like, right then? Picking up right where we left off. The wall is a titan. <laughs> It's tightened all the way down. Maybe the Wallace were right. Oh nice, is this the new opening? I'm just gonna watch the openings from now on, because, yeah, I probably won't get anything anyway. Dramatic, suiting up. Lots of getting dressed <laughs> so far. <laughs> this guy just hanging out in the wall. Nice shot. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, is this what people are always referencing with this? Little baby. Giant ass titan. <laughs> what the hell? Dinosaur titans? <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Beast titan. No arc, I see. Interesting. I don't think that's gonna do it. That is the most half-assed ostrich approach to the Titans. Don't worry, we took care of it. We covered him with sheets. <laughs> we can't see him anymore, which means he's gone now. No need to think about it. Forget what you saw. What Titan? I don't see any Titan, all I see is sheets. <laughs> so, Erwin's gotta have some ideas. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I predicted this. In my spewing of random crap at the end of season one, I almost got there, <laughs> but it was a total accident. I can't take any credit for it. Yeah, and mostly, mostly people who didn't. You must be new here. Yeah. So the Wallists knew something? Hanji's not messing around. Yes, please tell us. I feel like Hanji is fighting for me personally. That's not... not the right choice of words. Oh wow, he actually meant that. The guy's got faith. <laughs> she kind of was. I mean, she wasn't going to do it, but... As lost as I've been throughout the show, I feel even more lost now. I don't even know, like, what are the categories of things in existence? It's so weird. I feel like the rug has been pulled out from under me. I have no idea what to think now about this world. I mean, I always had the feeling that there was something weirdly metaphysical going on, but this is just bizarre. Like, the titans are in the walls? I just have no clue what to think about that. But just in the interest of taking, like, a wild guess, since we've seen that titans can be humans, and because it seems that the titans can be people we know, especially the colossal titan and the armor titan, who I'm guessing is John John, just because the hair color, I guess, like, if I learn anything from Annie, it's that the most reliable indicator of a titan's identity is hair color, then it might be that there was some kind of battle for something where people split into factions and had titan abilities. At some point, people that we care about, maybe in the future of where they are now, they use their powers to develop the walls to protect humanity or something like that. But as is always the case with humanity, they have different interests. And so some people want to maintain the walls and some people want to destroy the walls. All right, grasping at straws, session over. What? What was that? We just did a little rewind, but new stuff was added. 
から南に行くと俺の村が近いんだぜ。Remember the simple days when we were just doing cadet training? I was so full of hope back then. She's never going back. <laughs> Imagine fighting bears after titans. Terrifying. It's funny how they seem bored, considering all they've been through. You'd think that, like, after that crazy expedition, they'd just be relieved to have a rest or whatever. But I feel like that's so real, you know, like, it's so hard to remember states of emotion. Humans have such a crazy ability to kind of, like, revert to a mean, or to find ways to cope with the extremes of life and sort of return to normal. It's so hard to be happy, because I feel like, just by definition, that's a deviation from the norm or from the mean that we all revert to naturally. But what exactly is going on here? Why are they off-duty like this? My first instinct was that maybe they're under watch because of all the things that happened with their survey corps. Erwin took a huge risk in the last few episodes, and even though it seems like it worked out ultimately, my early suspicion was that it would have major ramifications for the group, that there would be some political heat. Dead. Someone get this girl a potato. Huh? No, she has good instincts. Oh yeah, a smeller guy. Let them suit up. That's his hometown. Whoa, what the hell's wrong with that one? Yeah, we just get more and more secrets as time goes on. Let's not give up so easily. Mika, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool. It's not over until it's over. It's so bizarre they didn't let them, like, suit up. I feel like you're just leading them into slaughter. Seems fair. Hey, Connie, the leader. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like this bond. Come on, Berthold. Yeah, there you go. It does. I mean, there's a lot of competition there. In terms of darkest days, I'm not sure that this is it yet. I mean, I know it's a big deal that they're breaching Wall Rose, but there have been some pretty dark days. What was that? Wow, high praise. I feel bad for making fun of uh, Mike before. Alright, you gotta live up to this reputation now. Little is known about the Titan inside the walls. Thank you. Thanks for that. They appear to form the walls with a material similar to the female Titan's crystal. Yeah, I was gonna say that, right? Earlier I was talking about how my theory was that certain Titans built the wall to protect humanity. We've seen that they have powers that are similar to that. Like Annie hardening her skin and then turning herself into that crystal thing. Oh, it's a flashback. I feel like anyone who picked a fight with childhood Eren is just lucky to be alive. <laughs> he did not listen. He did not take that advice. Hopefully that's a preview of like what's to come for him, that he's thinking about that. Actually having some restraint. I appreciate that they really picked up like right where we left off. I see that that dream really affected him. <laughs> I always love his, like, minimalist answers. Yeah, I mean, he's doing great. That guy's just chilling. This one is one of the weirdest so far. Why does he stand like that? Damn, I think it's crazy, yeah. Well, I was just saying that other guy was the weirdest one, but this one might take it. It's like Bigfoot. Oh no. No! Oh, 
Yeah, this is the this is weird, right? They don't they don't do that. That's messed up, man. Which human is this? <laughs> Which character is this giant furry thing? What? Did it just talk? What the hell is going on? Damn it, why? What the hell is going on? I can't. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I have so many mixed emotions right now because I'm worried about Mika's death, but Bigfoot Titan is speaking and he seems nice. <laughs> seems like a nice person to talk to. Is this a human character? Who's the hairiest character? <laughs> You don't need to fight this one though, do you? Take a minute to process what just happened. You do not know what's going on. None of us do. That's where they were standing like that. My question actually got answered. Yeah, it happened again. I started to like someone just before they died. Great. I'm gonna just stop liking every character that'll prevent their deaths. What am I looking at? What is happening? I'm so lost. Interesting ending. I like this style. It's so bizarre, but it's really cool. Both the illustration, the, uh, the animation and the, the music is very different. It reminds me of uh, Helsing, in a way. It does kind of resemble, like, Greek mythology in a way, right? Which, I mean, Titans are. Although I don't know if that is the same in Japanese. So, really weird start to the season. I mean, what did I expect, right? I mean, this is Attack on Titan. There's not going to be a normal start to the season. <laughs> it's never going to be normal, ever. I feel like rugs are just going to keep getting pulled, and it's going to take a while to actually, like, hit ground and then build up into something. I've heard that in order to understand some things from season two, I have to watch the OVA Ilsa's Notebook, which I'm about to watch right now. So maybe that'll clear some of this up, but just a couple thoughts based on my raw impression of this episode. Even though Eren is not heavily featured, I feel like they're signaling a shift in his character. The fact that he was reflecting on what his mother said about being more level-headed and taking care of Mikasa through the dream, and then him waking up and caring about the scarf, that is a big shift because I think in season one, he was a little bit antagonistic towards Mikasa, a little bit frustrated by her constant attention. For Aaron, the thing that's most interesting for me is that conflict for him between like just giving into his impulses or finding something higher or more important to kind of root himself to give himself some kind of emotional structure. That was part of the whole forest disaster, right? Was that he was finally leaning towards having some faith and then he kind of ended up worse than he began after watching the crew get killed. Then the talking Titan, man, I really don't know. I really don't know what to make of that. I'm sad that Mika died. I was just getting to like him too. I made fun of him a lot at the beginning about like the weird smelling thing, but he actually is pretty cool for this one episode. So much for second in line to Levi. That space is now vacant. Either we just haven't seen the full range of Titans yet or they're adapting. And the more that I see, the more I think that they're not just these things that were created and sent out into the world, it seems like a very active process and that there are people behind it. But I think that's really the best I can do for now. It'll just have to wait. So yeah, that's the end of season two, episode one, but I'll see you guys very soon for either season two, episode two, or Ilsa's Notebook, the OVA.